Welcome back. San Jose City leaders celebrated the grand opening of a new affordable housing complex today. But the formerly homeless residents at the Path Villas on 4th Street all have something in common. They are all senior citizens. John Ramos reports on the disturbing rise of elderly people living on the streets. In weather like this, it's hard to imagine how difficult it must be to be homeless and living on the streets. Now imagine it's your grandmother trying to do it. When the weather turns nasty, it's good to have a warm place to call home. And that's what the shiny new Villas at 4th Street is offering to 94 formerly homeless seniors. We have a long way to go. We have 4,500 people living in tents and vehicles and the, the fear, the uncertainty, the danger of being out on the streets. The project was developed by People Assisting the Homeless, or PATH. The group's CEO says the residents at this complex bust the myth that people are homeless because they did something wrong. And when we start putting a real face to it, I think we'll all be able to look at, at our own community and know that there are people at risk. Patty Freidenberg was one of them. She was turned out of a home five years ago when her sister-in-law became ill. She's lived in shelters and motels since, but always with the fear that she could, at age 70, end up on the streets. I'm looking at bushes going, well, that might be okay. That might be okay. And here's my thought. This old lady wouldn't have made it. I would not have made it out there on the street. I wouldn't have. I'm too vulnerable. But now her fears are gone. This new one bedroom apartment is hers for as long as she wants for about $200 per month. It's been a long journey and Patty recalls her feeling about homeless people before she became one herself. Remember telling my grandkids, you never, you never look down on these people, please, because you don't know their story. You don't know how they ended up on the street. Seniors are the fastest growing sector of the unhoused population simply because their fixed incomes can't keep pace with the cost of housing. That's the harder part with our elders is because th there's not a get back on your feet. <laughs> this is what I make now, <laughs> you know, and it's and it will be that way for 20 years. And so uh, uh, if we're not creating housing that understands those conditions, we're going to be putting a lot of people into the streets. Patty understands how lucky she is to avoid that. And after all the uncertainty of the last five years, she now loves to stand out on her balcony, watch the sunset, and reflect on what it means to have a home. I mean, you have your own space, your own shower, your own bathroom. You can shut your bedroom door. It's just giving, having been given back that bit of dignity and self-worth, you know, it's, it's freeing. That doesn't seem like a lot to ask for a grandmother. John tells us residents of the new complex are asked to pay 30% of whatever, whatever income or Social Security they may receive. The rest of the cost is paid through a voucher issued by Santa Clara County Housing Commission.